We are moments away from our first business pitch. If we're gonna get this new business off the ground, we've gotta be able to convince other people that this idea is gonna work. Since we literally kissed our former jobs goodbye to start this company, yeah, this is significant. For weeks, we've been reading, researching, scrutinizing, contemplating, arguing, debating, building, brainstorming, and rehearsing to get ready for this moment. But as we get settled in for this pitch, 30 minutes before the meeting is scheduled to start, an unexpected email comes in. What do we do about this? The email says they don't want us to pitch the business. He may not care about this stuff anymore. Okay, the operative demo. All of the articles say do not demo the product. Well, so much for that. <laughs> they want us to discuss the tech stack and get a product demo. Uh, technically, this will be Bill. That's you. Yeah. We need a slide for Austin right now. We don't even have a build. We don't even have a product. Can we take the demo slides out of the deck? What would we cut out? This, 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 this. Well, now this deck's a mess. Now this deck's a mess. It's been several weeks since we officially started Strata, and Austin, Pete, and I have been hard at work identifying every foundational need to start a business. An enormous and endless list of logistics like that. Oh, money. Now that we have our idea and our website, the time it will take to develop the next steps of Strata are governed by how many people we have to build it. So how do we get a sense of that? Mapped on a calendar, given the current size of our team, our pace pushes our delivery to sometime in late 2025. 2025, that pace is way too slow. So what I'd like to do is accelerate our hires and move that timeline up to 2024 so that we can deliver a working product that will immediately bring value to creative professionals on day one. But in order to meet that ambitious goal, we need to get other people as excited as we are, which means we need to tell a compelling story, which means we need an exceptional pitch deck. Now, if you know me at all, you may know what my favorite app is. The one app I cannot live without. One of you said it, Apple Keynote. I make decks every day, literally every day. By speaking to teams with visuals at all time, I increase the chances of connecting with the listener. And Keynote is my secret weapon, the most important tool of my life. You're laughing, I, but I'm telling you, I can get Keynote to do things that you wouldn't believe. And I've had to present to some icy rooms of people, which is why my sidearm is always a well-made deck. Even though I know how to make decks and tell stories, my experience is in filmmaking and workflow and thought leadership. But what Strata needs is different. We need a story that galvanizes people to believe in a business and a product vision that isn't just ambitious, it doesn't even exist. And unlike other presentations I've done, I don't have anything tactile to start with. Well, to start, we've come up with a product delivery deadline. Working backwards, we launch a product. Prior to that, we launch a beta, an alpha, a proof of concept, and begin with a way for the users to sign up. Since we've never done this before, we decided to start by researching the process of pitching a business in order to learn what to model our pitch deck after. Now, this is interesting. When it comes to startups, there are a lot of variations, but we learned that compared to other startups, Strata is both way ahead of schedule and simultaneously way behind. I know, it's confusing. It turns out, traditionally in the app development world, the majority of startups build a working proof of concept, and then they use it to demonstrate what they're capable of building. This approach helps interested parties get an early sense of the product market fit, the user experience, and even an early version of the interface. What startups like that traditionally lack is a public relations team, patent attorneys, payroll, benefits, and market buzz. The problem is Strata already has these later stage components, but we're far from having a working prototype to complement them. We are pitching a raw idea, a vision, not a product. But none of our research indicates that what we have is valuable at the beginning. Instead, we are subject matter experts and Strata is already a real working business with a mission and a vision where people can find open roles and apply for a job with benefits. But when pitching a tech company, having a tax ID isn't gonna help much. So why did we set the business up this way? Well, at the time of this recording, I have been working in Hollywood for 22 years and I've successfully started several businesses and gotten many products off the ground. But my approach has always been the same to speak the language of the industry as fluently as possible. 
And in Hollywood, our language is telling stories. In the business of storytelling, we don't sell a product, we sell a story. We make lookbooks, draw storyboards, rip matics render draft composites and animatics to help articulate our vision. We passionately present our ideas to often chilly rooms of people, but unlike demonstrating a product prototype that's in progress, in the storytelling world, you don't get to know if anyone likes the movie until it's all done. In storytelling, filmmakers ask for the resources first, and then we go out and create. But we're learning that in tech, it's preferred to get hands on the product before they'll open up to discussions about resources. Since we don't yet have a product, this is a problem. And it's really interesting for me having these conversations about the Silicon Valley mindset because it's just so different from the way we think in Hollywood. In fact, this journey has begun to reveal some attributes about Hollywood that I didn't ever realize that I didn't like. For example, the Silicon Valley approach begins with people seeking to take a financial risk on an unknown product an unknown person. While Hollywood's approach begins with people largely seeking to lower risk by betting on a known product or a known person. When it comes to access, the Silicon Valley mindset is an open door policy to people with power. In contrast, Hollywood has built a walled garden requiring you to have representation before you get notable access to someone with the power to green light. Silicon Valley is willing to take an interest in no names, whereas Hollywood is one big popularity contest. One of the most common phrases I am told from Silicon Valley is, how can I help you? One of the most common phrases I'm told in Hollywood is, pay your dues. With all that said, if you can successfully navigate the system, Hollywood will eventually place its bets on a new idea. So how do we satisfy the fact that Silicon Valley still wants to see a product when we don't yet have one? And that's where I had an idea. What if I could use a Hollywood video storyboard or animatic to design and animate a working simulator? So I opened up Keynote and started designing and animating what the Strata product aims to be. I used hyperlinks and animations to create a clickable simulation app so that people could explore the interactions as if they were real. And I'm so used to working with AI tools and workflow, just building the Strata simulator itself unlocked so many opportunities that I got so excited about how I knew this was going to save me and solve so many problems as soon as I get it built. And then we structured the story of the deck to complement our simulator using insight gained through researching other decks that were published online. Thank you, TechCrunch. Give a five minute pitch presentation. Five minute pitch presentation. I think 10 is right. Feel Look, if we rifle power. through this with a great story, then it feels short. What we ended up with was a hybrid pitch deck, part Silicon Valley, part Hollywood. We incorporated key elements recommended by other tech companies like structure, length, and style, and then added our own visual effects, animations, voiceover, and music to serve as the product demo. And then we practiced it. Start the clock. Stuff we're gonna talk about today has to do with destinations. And strada is actually Italian for street. Strata is Italian for street. Italian for street. Street. Over the next five years, the creator economy is expected to double. Expected to double? To double? Our mission is to drive creative professionals to work exclusively in the cloud. Exclusively? Exclusively in the cloud. We're excited to take your questions and hear more about your thoughts in strata. 12 minutes. And that brings us back to our very first pitch. Right as we set up to deliver that pitch, we learned that they want us to pitch a product and not a plan. Okay, what would we cut out? We should do this, this, this. I think mean, doing what you're doing would just knock it down to seven slides. And we can really get into change management. Which slide? The, the, this thing, the snake. But you know what? All that scrutiny and practice and knowledge gained from hundreds of hours of research, it allowed us to pivot in an instant we opened up our Cloud Keynote deck and we each began making changes to accommodate this new ask. I retooled the simulator, Austin added outlines for the tech stack, and Pete scrambled to polish everything up as if it was the plan all along. Okay. We took a punch to the gut with no warning, but because we knew our material inside and out, we could take a collective beating and still sing a three-part harmony. We saved the deck. We took one last breath, and then we logged in to the biggest meeting of our professional lives. This meeting is being recorded.